Dismantling, or rigging as it is sometimes known, is the science of using craning points in the tree so that the cut timber is lowered to the ground under control. In this course we try and teach people how to take the guesswork out of rigging and use known physical principles to undertake the task safely and efficiently. The course is in preparation for an independent assessment. Each day of the course starts with a theory session, looking at the equipment available and how it is actually deployed in the tree. The equipment comes into five categories. Ropes, pulleys, slings, including split tails and whoopies, friction devices and ancillary items. We look at each of these in turn and make sure that when we assemble a rigging kit for use, it is well matched and the overall safe working load of the system is known. We also consider the concepts behind the operation, in particular dynamic loading and how to reduce or eliminate it, fall factors, safety factors, and how varying configurations increase or decrease peak loads. Some equipment is quite confusingly marked, so we look at the relationship between kilograms and kilonewtons, the minimum braking loads and the safe working loads. The single most important concept when choosing craning points in the tree is force vectoring, and we consider how this concept allows us to put safe and effective redirects in the tree every time. The practical elements of the course are divided into two categories, branch removal and chogging down a stem. Branch removal is usually achieved with a craning point above the branch, whereas when chogging down the stem the anchor point is below the piece being removed. This makes dynamic loading inevitable, so we look at how to reduce it. There are essentially three standard ways to rig a branch for lowering. Tip roped, where the butt end falls away. Butt roped, where the tip end falls away. And balance or spider rigged, where two or more attachments are made to the branch so that it retains its level in the tree whilst being lowered. We look at each of these methods and consider which cut would be best for each situation and how to determine which direction the branch will move when it is severed. It is impossible to know if we are working safely if we do not know, at least roughly, what the sections weigh that we are removing. We demonstrate the use of log weight tables to achieve this. We also look at the huge benefits of pre-tensioning the lowering system and explain how this enables the arborist to work faster as well as safer. When all the branches have been removed, the arborist is left with a standing stem and nothing to lower it from but an anchor point below the section being removed. We consider in some detail the do's and don'ts of topping out and in particular how to remove the risk of the remaining stem from splitting. Correct connection of the arborist to the tree is absolutely essential and his system should always be configured to allow rapid and efficient descent from the stem if necessary. When removing sections of stem, we look at a range of techniques to minimize the inevitable shock load that would otherwise risk applying excessive dynamic forces to the lowering system. These include the use of tug lines, the type of cut being used, the length of rope in the system, and the skilled use of the capstan to name but a few. On a rigging course lasting a few days, you could learn more than you would find out for yourself in a whole career. You will learn to work faster, more efficiently, and more safely, and you'll be able to take on difficult work with confidence and enthusiasm. I hope you found this overview of our course interesting. We look forward to hearing from you if you like a challenge. Mm -hmm.